Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on a course that just finished yesterday called AI Generated Moodle Courses. This was a five week free online course for educators to create their own courses by adding activities that are Moodle related and creating them using various AI tools, 25 to be specific. So they were able to try out the tools, create video tutorials of the process and create their very own course. In week five, they had a chance to showcase their courses and to also reflect using a reflect bot that I created using 11 labs. And here it is, let's reflect. So I'm going to let you go through it to get an idea of 11 labs and how it can be used for the reflective process. So here it is, let's call the agent. Hi there, as part of your reflection on the AI generated Moodle courses online course you just took, a bot will guide you through the process. Your task is to engage thoughtfully with each prompt. What Moodle feature in AI tools surprised or challenged you the most as you developed your Moodle course? Well, I had a lot of challenges. One of the challenges um, was time. There were so many tasks and I just uh, felt overwhelmed by them. It's completely understandable to feel overwhelmed with the number of tasks in a course like this. Managing time effectively can be challenging especially when learning new tools and features. Were there any specific strategies or tools that helped you manage your time better? Or is this something you're still looking to improve? Well, it's probably something I'm looking to improve. There is a course on time management that's coming up um, in March and it'll take place until November. So I'm looking forward to that. However, um, if you could go over some of the tools and um, explain how they work, I might be in a better place to uh, tell you about some of the challenges that I had with them. Certainly. Let me give you a brief overview of some of the tools you used in the course. One, latest badges and level up XP. These tools are used to gamify the learning experience by rewarding Excuse students. Excuse me, how are they related to AI? I'm not sure. The latest badges and level up XP blocks themselves are not directly related to AI, but they complement AI tools by enhancing student engagement and motivation. Can you AI please, tools like... sorry for interrupting again. Can you please just mention the AI tools that were used in the course? I understand that there were 25 of them. Of course, here are the AI tools used in the course. Canva, Chalky, Character.ai, Coursebox, uh, Course Sorry Magic. for interrupting again, but what were they specifically used for? Certainly. Here's a brief overview of how some of these AI tools were utilized. One, Canva, used for creating visually appealing course materials. Can you materials continue on? Sure. Here's more on how the AI tools were used. Two, Chalky, assisted in creating interactive and engaging lesson plans. Three, Character.ai, used for developing conversational agents to simulate uh, student interaction. Sorry interact for interrupting. Can you please uh, categorize them so that you go through the uh, course creation ones, and then you go through the bots. If you could start with the bots, that would be great. Just mention all the bot use in the course. Certainly, here's a categorization. Course creation tools contains Canva for designing course materials and graphics. Course box for organizing and storing course content. Course magic to enhance course design and structure. Can you continue bots. with the bots only, please? Certainly, here are the AI tools used as bots or for conversational purposes. Character.ai, used for creating conversational agents to engage with students. Conmigo, an AI tutor that assists students with learning. Riffbot, AI, helps facilitate discussions and provide feedback. Teach Genius AI, supports teachers by providing instructional suggestions. These tools help simulate interaction. What about interaction. Mizu? You didn't mention Mizu. How is that used? I apologize for the oversight. Mizu is also used as a conversational AI tool to engage students in interactive learning experiences. How it can, can these, simulate sorry for interrupting. How can these um, integrate with Moodle activities? These AI tools can integrate with Moodle activities in several ways. For example, character.ai and Mizu can be embedded into discussion forums or quizzes to provide real-time... Thank you real so much. Well, that was an example. Let me go back into the course. That was an example of how you can reflect and kind of um, have a review of all the tools that were used. You can actually ask the bot all kinds of questions at the end of the course. 
Let me know if you have any questions about either the course, AI-generated Moodle courses, or about the bot used for reflection called 11 Labs. Thank you for watching. You're welcome. If you have any questions about the AI-generated Moodle courses, the reflection process, or the 11 Labs bot, feel free to ask. Thank you.